Welcome back to Bungbla Book in Ayutthaya. Got a four day fishing trip planned here. First day here, we're gonna go between the Predator Lake using the Lures and the Carp Lake. Second day, we're gonna spend the day on the Mekong Lake. And then on the third day, just a half day before we go to Amazon BKK, we'll jump back on the Carp Lake and the Predator Lake. See a pack you today. With the second fish, okay. it's not a bad one. Screamed off. I want to be up against these reeds, I'm fishing in the wrong place. Yeah, look at those teeth. Don't let him jump forward, he'll wrap my finger off. Look, look at that. He's just using braid, were you? Yep. Well, it's, uh, this is what I'm using on the lure lake uh, weighted hook and a little soft plastic paddle tail Yeah, it's quite a thin one isn't it? But it's uh, still a red tail, better than you and me are doing Dennis That's for sure Okay my photo as well. Find. Okay, everybody's had a fish. I think Dennis has now got the biggest red tail. Do you want to take some footage on your camera? Or? No, that's fine. I can always send it to you if you, if you want it. Probably the best one of the day, isn't it? That's a very nice fish, all put it in here. Oh, please. I'll film this because you'll be funny when you fall in. Oh. <laughs> Hang on a minute, you're putting it in the wrong lake. Oh. Oh well. As long as he's in the water, I think you'll be I think right. he has, no, maybe he has more lake, more uh, luck in that lake. Unfortunately, your shadow is blocking half of the fish, but you can see him good. That's better. Hold him out in front of you, really get all the light on him. How much can I lift it up a bit more? You do whatever you want. Yeah, I mean you might be able to lift him out of the water, but normally when they leave the water, they get a bit panicky. All right, ready? Yeah. If you if you go down onto your knees and lower your body right down, then we'll get the sun on the fish better. That's it. Now if you can lift him up a bit like that, we'll get a really nice photo. That's it, because now we've got the sun on him. You're not blocking the light. I'll try and hold that tail out a bit straighter so you can see all the red in it. There you go, that's a nice picture. That's a cracker. If he straightens his tail up even better, but yeah, that's nice. Alright, good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's good. Just let him go and then if he's willing. He'll disappear, he's already taken one big gulp of there. Okay, bye bye. Do we have a happy Richard? Look at that. First hour. Oh, wait a minute, you're going to get me in my boxes. You've got to be on YouTube like this. You've got to be on YouTube in my boxes.
Can you get that going your uh, no. suntan lotion room? Yeah, yeah. Quite warm, so steep today. Simon, he's garbled. We're just going to put him back. He's been playing in the ass. the average sort of stamp for her. Nice looking fish. Right. Why is yours so well well behaved and mine was a nightmare? Oh. And a fish whisperer. Now you're slimy as hell. <laughs> Shake hands. No thank you. Did it rough up the line a little bit? Oh, took the soft plastic off, but uh, whew, come on, stop playing around. Really skinny little chow prayer. Hit it on the surface. I threw some bread out, got them in the area, and it just came through with the lure. Awesome. Not a bad packer at all. I managed to do that, but there we go, I'll get it out back out of him. There we go. It's already oh it's already recording, isn't it? Right, let's have a look. Yes, yeah, recording. Oh, okay. I'm just doing the honors. Oh, okay, sorry, I thought you was there you go, not a bad packer. They get much, much bigger than that. This one's a small one in comparison to some of them. Straight in the walk out. There we go, float, size nine orc, about a meter deep. But the little fish must have caught him in such a weird way, he's managed to bend the hook out, so definitely a new hook is going to be required. Cover the eyes, cover the eyes, calm him down. Right in the corner of oh, the mouth. Yeah, perfect. That's one of the benefits when you fish with the. Uh, uh, try to for guys. Should have got the take on video, that was awesome. Red floated on the surface. The line's still caught up on him somehow. I might 
have to Photoshop this. It's like making massive. Let's see how big we can All make right it. Right out. Look. Make your fingers look small. It's a 120 kilo. 120 <laughs> kilo. I think 120 grams maybe. Yeah. What Beautiful a looking fish though, isn't it? Yeah, it's very healthy. Well, healthy. Well, skinny to be honest with you, but yeah, yeah, clean. Float? No weight, just a float, yeah? Yeah. Uh, about a metre. Hook. Red. I kind of want to put him in that lake because there's more fish maybe more to eat. Come back next week, he'll be massive if you put him in that lake. I'm sorry? Go put him in that lake, he'll be massive gorging himself on bread <laughs> and little fish. What are you doing Dennis? <laughs> Okay, move your, uh, try and move your essay so you can see the head of it. Give him a little shake and he might put his fin up. Yeah. Slimy fish. Yeah. I like the red bits he's got in him. Alright, good to go. Could be one of these fish doing doing this that broke your arm again last time. What was that on the bottom? Feeder, bread? Feeder. Bread or foam on the hook? Uh bread. The cracker. Super, super slimy. Look at those teeth. Where's the hoop? Gone. Out. You can't get that out that way, you're an idiot. Yeah, that's why they do not let us run forever. Uh, I think you have to yeah. get it out of the net because his mouth is in the, in the Yeah, net. yeah. But that's that's controlling the fish at the moment. If I get it out and I try and do this, it can move its head a lot. At the moment it's restricted. So I kind of like it being restricted. I've got some flies. Shall I use the flies to pry it open? Well, it's skin. Its skin is... Just yeah, it's got a bit of a layer on it, but it's, it's what hard. What about these? Is spikes no, there? no. There's no spikes there. There's no spikes there. But there's a lot of spikes around here. underneath my hand, your right hand underneath my right hand and then slide it up, that's it, and hold its head higher than its body so it can't move forward. That's it, just slide your hand up uh, over mine, that's it, keep going, that's it, you'll hit the, f there you go. There you go. Hold it a little bit higher. To fish on the Mekong Lake or the Carp Lake it's 150 baht a rod. We're paying 200 baht a day so that we can fish on the Lure Lake. If you pay the 200 baht, you can go between the Lure Lake, the Predator Lake and the Carp Lake. Really just take your pick. Really good day and a half on the Carp Lake and the Predator Lake, jumping backwards and forwards between the two lakes. Plenty of carp, some interesting predators came out. 
Nothing massive from the Predator Lake, but a good range of species. Richard got his first alligator gar and his first arapaima. Dennis got his first chow prayer. Dennis also has a YouTube channel called Fishing Travel Asia. Give it a search in YouTube. Dennis is also going to be making some videos of this trip. So if you'd like to see some other angles of what's been going on during this trip, Dennis's channel would be a good one to, to take a look at. On the next video, I move over to the Mekong Lake. And then we'll finish off the week over at the Amazon BKK. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you soon.